Oh, and do you name? Hey, Denny Parson with Instinct Magazine. Hello, TS, Miss Hi, Lo Eddie. How Hi. you doing? How you doing? Great, thank you. So let me begin with TS. When you found out that Bros was going to be created, what were your initial thoughts? Uh, I didn't, I honestly, you want me to be honest? Yes. I honestly was like, now how in the hell are we going to get a movie in here about two men loving each other? <laughs> you know, like, how are we going to do this? Because, mm -hmm. you, know, you know, the last time we seen a men, two men loving each other, one died and, and they were both <laughs> married to women, you know? So when I'm looking at this now, I'm like, okay. Then when it manifested and it came into fruition, I was like, wow. And to be at the, the TIFF opening and to be in, a, in an audience with all of those people uh, enjoying it and uh, yeah. absorbing it, I was like, okay, we did that. <laughs> We did it. Yeah. yeah. Miss Lawrence. Repeat the question for me. I'm sorry. When, when you found out that bros was going to be created, what were your initial initial thoughts? Um, I thought, you know, no longer are we getting somewhere. We we are at that place. Mm -hmm. I thought we are finally at that place where we get to have our own stories told. You know, I think that um this film is gonna serve as a um healing tool for so many, past, present, and future. And um, I think that is what excited me the most, is that we are now in a place where we get to tell our love stories. Mm -hmm, for sure. Yeah. And of, of course, Bros is making a significant impact by breaking the queer glass ceiling. Why do you think it has taken until 2022 to reach that milestone? Fear. Fear. It, it, it's fear, false teachings mm -hmm. and ideologies, you know, um, a lot of things. Mm -hmm. but, but but definitely rooted in fear, yeah. fear of offending people, fear of things uh, of, of things being a failure, fear of uh, ex of change. It's, this is gonna this is gonna definitely yeah. bring about you know change and 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 lots of times people fear you know change. Mm -hmm. We want to see we want to see good stories. We want to see good love stories. We want to see people. We want to see us win. Yeah, and, you know there are, there are people who are afraid to see that because they've, they've not only that kids. people are afraid to see it, and you also have a lot of people that still don't think that we deserve a space right in in this in this industry in this world actually mm -hmm. that our stories don't deserve to be told you know and kudos to Universal Pictures and to mm -hmm. Nicholas Stoller and Billy Eichner for saying oh hell no. Yeah, and, and Judd Apatow. We have a different, we have a different perspective and a different point of view that the world will see, and we're not asking for permission. Right. For sure. And ultimately, what do you hope audiences take away from Bros? I hope audience take away that um, the LGBTQ community is made up of of so many different types of people with so many um, intriguing stories, love stories. Um, we're not just this one monolithic thing with tragedies, you mm -hmm. know, we deserve to be celebrated. We deserve to be loved and we deserve to be able to tell, uh, how we love and what we look like in love mm -hmm. and, um, you know, that they can learn something from it. Mm -hmm. For sure. Definitely. May I take a screenshot for social media purposes? One, two, three. Awesome. T.S. Miss Lawrence, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank, thank you for you. having us. Appreciate it. Oh, bye-bye.